I'm going to show you today on how to replace MySQL uh, database with uh, MariaDB. Um, a lot of people are replacing uh, MySQL databases with MariaDB because the performance is a lot better. This video uh, is actually going to show you through the steps of how to take a MySQL database and load MariaDB into it. So, first thing I do is I'm going to log into my box, and um, before we get into it, I'm just going to show you a couple things. I'm going to go in and log into my MySQL database. Yep. And uh, just let me make sure I have the right password. Okay. And I'm just going to do a show databases, just to show you. And, and as you can see, from the top, it says, Welcome to MySQL version 5.1. And, and everything else and they're showing you that I have four databases just show you that what we got now let's exit this because uh, we don't need this right now and what I'm going to show you is um, a lot of the information I'm going to actually copy the text right off my blog I have a blog JonathanMarkSmith.com where I post all these tips and tricks and so to save time of, of uh, of uh, typing, I'm going to copy a lot off of that. But so you could go to my website and look for replace MySQL with MariaDB and follow my instructions. First thing it says to do is to stop the MySQL domain service. So I am root already, so I could say service service MySQL D stop. And it'll take a couple of seconds, and as you see, it said stop. Okay. Let's see what the next instructions is. The next instructions is to do yum, remove them all. And as I said, I'm going to uh, copy and paste to kind of save me some time. And, and to do that, uh, control V. Okay. And this will now go through and delete all the MySQL server software. And as you see, it's setting up the remove process as you speak, and there it goes. It's actually going to list everything to be erased. And do, 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 do. it's updating. And do I want to remove everything? We're going to say yes. And we're waiting for it to run the transaction. I like using YAM on CentOS, Scientific Linux, and uh, anything else with those package management with YAM. It makes it pretty easy to install and to remove stuff. As you see, it's removing the MySQL server. It's actually removing the MySQL workbench. And see, it's, it's got to remove 17 packages, it said. So let's let this run through and see what's happening. It goes taking some more. And while this is happening, let's just go to my blog and see what's the next instruction. So after that, as you could see, it says take out the wildcard. We're gonna be vi we're gonna be vi a file and putting the repro that I need to get it from. So let's let this finish. We're up to thirteen and fourteen of seventeen. And 16, we got one more to go. And there it is, it's completed. The My SQL database is gone. So let's go to my blog again. Let's grab this instructions again. And as you see, I'm just control C and control V. And uh, control V. And now there, and I'm gonna say insert, and I'm gonna grab this instruction now. Control C, Control C again. Control, okay, and Shift Control V, and there it is. And I'm gonna save my file. So what I did was I made a repro, and uh, for Yum to go out and find out where to get Maria DB from, and um gonna install it. The next step would be now 
is to do a yum install of the Maria DB. So I do control C and shift control V to paste it and now it's gonna go to the repro and hopefully it'll start to download everything and it'll install it. Uh, 52 megs, we're gonna say yes. And now it will start downloading all of the 23 packages, what it needs. And uh, it's gonna go through and get them all. And uh, all right, let's go through. All right, and now basically what this is doing is getting all of the MariaDB 5.5 version of the server and all of its components and it's installing it in my Linux server. Um, let's let this run. It's actually going pretty quickly, so it's pretty good. Let's just see what the next step is. I think the next step is just to turn our server on. Yes, the next step would be to turn the service on. And if you see the service is now my SQL, it's not my SQL D anymore. And, and I noted that on my blog too. So you could go out there and actually start the service by service my SQL start. You don't have to put the D anymore. So let's let this finish. Oh, and you gotta say yes to take it in. Okay, it's now downloaded all the packages, 54 megs, and now it's gonna install them all. And it's going through pretty quickly. And and actually what I did for the demonstration purposes, I actually did not install the 64-bit server by mistake. But um, I'm gonna go through this video and see if it matters, uh, see if it starts up, but definitely, you, you definitely want the 64-bit if you're on the 64-bit operating system. And to do that, while this is loading, I'll show you. See this line right here? Right here, I told it only to take the 32-bit. And I, as you can see, I actually know the head. The head, this line should note that the last part of the base model needs to match your... See, mine should have had send OS AM64 for the 64-bit, but... I forgot that and so we're gonna see what happens if this works after the download stops it's gonna see if I can run the 32-bit version on here I wouldn't recommend you doing this in production or test but let's just see what happens for this video purposes and it's going through and we're at 22 of 26 and it's actually loading the service and I think that's why if you see it's loading a lot of uh, 32-bit libraries when when I would have not had that many if I would have took the right version but it's going through and uh, we'll find out what's gonna happen in a couple of seconds this is the first time I actually did not take the correct version for my server but this is only for video purposes and I noted it on my blog not to make the mistake and I made the mistake so this is almost done now it's verifying. Should be pretty quick to verify everything. It it uh, installed everything, and now it's cleaning up some stuff, and it's verifying pretty quickly. There it goes, verifying that everything was installed okay, and it's still going okay. And now it verifies. Now, for a very curious thing is, let's start service MySQL start, and it says it's starting. It says successful now. Let's try to log in. You still do use the same commands as you would. Okay, let me type in my password. Now, you can see immediately it doesn't say MySQL anymore. It says MariaDB. So we're definitely in a MariaDB database. And, and if you take note of this none, MariaDB shows you the server, the database that you're in. So if I go show databases, can see all my databases are there and let's just say use messages okay and now if you take note it tells you that I'm in the messages database and pretty much this is how easy it is to install MariaDB over a MySQL DB a lot of people are doing it they're saying the performance 
of MariaDB is a lot better than MySQLDB. If you have any more questions, please feel free to find me on my blog or on Twitter. And uh, all my information will be there. And again, my name is uh, Jonathan Mark Smith. It's up here. And you can go to my blog, JonathanMarkSmith.com, and get these samples, demos, and try it. And please send me comments and feedback. And uh, thank you. And I hope you find this, this very useful.